What's going on everybody? I've been waiting a while to do this video and it's going to be a little bit of a longer video. Uh, so if you need to hit pause, go get something to drink and eat, please go get it. Because I think this video is going to answer so many questions about this computer or artificial intelligence that's going on with a lot of the grading companies. And we were lucky enough to get first-hand look at how this looks. And I'm going to show that. But first, I want everybody to understand that the only reason that I actually chose to do this is I get hit up about subscription boxes and grading companies wanting me to do videos all the time. And I have chosen not to because they want to offer me either a discount and then give you guys like half that discount. And I, I just, I'm not down with it. I've even had grading companies offer me an affiliate program with them. Okay, so basically I'm marketing their stuff so they can make a big profit and I get a little kickback. This has nothing to do with this grading company. I'm going to tell you now, Eric reached out to me. Um, just a real quick background before I go to his, his video is 21 minutes long on to here. It's very, very good and in depth. Please watch it all. He reached out to me and he said he wanted me to do a video being honest. He didn't care if it was good, bad, whatever about his grading company, or well, their grading company, it's theirs. There's more than one owner. And to me, it kind of caught my attention. Now we couldn't line up talking on the phone for probably about a week. Um, and that was due to our schedule conflicts back and forth and the weekend coming in, but we finally got to talk. And I was really, Kind of impressed by a lot of the stuff that we talked about on and I'll talk about at the end of the video and I'll show you these cards too right after uh, this piece of the video goes down as well yeah and there's a lot of good information I'm gonna put out that uh, he didn't hit onto the video because it was probably something he didn't expect for somebody to ask offhand ie like let's just go um, wiping down cards is the terminology that a lot of people use for uh, uh, submitting their cards or taking off fingerprints type deal. So I really thought it was interesting with what he talked about. Pay it to, just take a good look at the video. It talks about how they use it for centering and everything. And this here, just so everybody understands real quick as well, is that the intelligence is not used then passed over to somebody. It's simultaneously with the grader using this as a tool which I really liked on to. There's a bunch of other aspects I'll show you with the with the case and everything right after his video. So, all right, I'm going to cut myself here, guys, and I'll be right back after his video. Like I said, it's about 21 minutes, some change long. See you then. Hello, everyone. I'm Eric, uh, Eric, the co-founder and the um, owner of Jim and Grading. And uh, tonight um, we're going to look at a video um, I was contacted by a gentleman named Jason from Extreme Card Breaks. He asked me to um, put together a video explaining how our, uh, our grading system, our grading software works, our intelligent uh, software uh, we have created over here at Jim Mint Grading. Um, spoke with Jason a couple of times. He uh, was gracious enough to uh, send us a few cards over to be graded, um, to take a look at how we do our grading system. And... Um, this is one of the cards that we uh, we received from Jason. Of course, I told Jason, I said, it doesn't matter what card you send. It doesn't matter if it's a $10,000 card or a $5 card. I don't care. Um, we're going to give you the process from start to finish and show you exactly how we grade through our grading system and our service. Um, so let me get started here by just saying um, once the cards come to us, once they're submitted to us through our online submission, um, through our website, which is www.gemmintgrading.com. Um, we get the uh, we get the cards sent uh, to us by you. Um, once they get to our office, the staff unpacks the cards, does an inventory to make sure that they are all there and all correctly uh, um, listed. And then once that happens, they start the uh, process uh, from day one of entering the cards into the uh, uh, system and giving the cards an individual ID number um, or a population report number. Um, as these cards start to get uh, added to the system, um, they are ran through a 6400 DPI scanner. And um, at that point, the uh, grading process pretty much uh, takes over on its own um, from the minute that the cards are entered into the system. So tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to show you guys that system on exactly how it works. Um, the first thing we're going to take a look at is the centering. Um, 
the uh, centering system that we have, the intelligent software for the centering system, and exactly how that works. Now, um, for us to be able to show you that, I'm going to have to manually um, do that because it's an automated software. So um, it's laser measured um, from point to point. It uses eight points of reference, the four corners, of course, and then the four outside borders, which would be the top and bottom and the left and the right. So for me to uh, kind of give you an idea on how that works, um, I'm going to set up the system here for just one second, and then we're going to get going and I'm going to show you exactly how that system measures um, down to the 10,000th of an inch. So um, <clears throat> what we have here is the actual card itself scanned in 6400 DPI. And the system will automatically within minutes or within seconds, I should say, give the card a dead center. So this green dot represents that dead center for this card um, and any given card that is run through the system or the intelligent software. So we're going to use this reference point that the uh, system has picked up as dead center of this uh, Jordan Alvarez um, card. And then what the system would do is it would start taking measurements. So with those measurements, our system has a measuring system. So basically, um, we would use this center reference point to get a right-hand side um, measurement, which is 1.1259. And then it would do the exact same thing to get a left-hand border measurement. So with that left-hand border measurement, we would take a recording or the system would take a recording and it's 1.126. Now, I wanna point out for centering to be off a full point, it must be 0 0.0479 inches um, one way or the other. So has to be larger or smaller um, one way or the other, 0 0.0479 inches. That's four hundredths of an inch, almost five hundredths of an inch. So. Um, as we can see here in these two measurements, 1.125 and 1.126, um, that's just, that's uh, one thousandth of an inch difference. So um, this card is virtually 50-50 centered uh, left to right. So the next thing that the system would do would be measure to the top, um, from the center to the top border, and it would take a measurement, um, 1.609. Um, would be that score or that measurement. And then it would come back and do the exact same thing, um, center to bottom. And that measurement would be 1.625. So we're looking at about 0 0.025. And I told you it had to be 0 0.0479 to be a full point deduction or a full point um, difference. So that's a half a point difference, which actually this card come up to be a nine point or excuse me, a 9.67. So um, that would become a 9.5 on our grading scale. So this card centered out at 9.5 on a 10 scale. <clears throat> excuse me. So that is the centering process. Now, I did this manually because we don't really have a way to show you that through the intelligent software. It just does it automatically, but it actually uses eight reference points. It does one, two, three, four from the center point, and then one, two, three, four from the center point. So that would give you eight points of reference or eight points of measurement that would give you the centering of that card um, within just a matter of seconds. So um that is our centering system and of course if it's not 0 0.0479 inches um difference top bottom left right corner to corner from center um then that card would be uh considered a 10. now this card is about 2.25 which would be a 96.7 i believe is what it graded so that would be a 9.5 um had this card received a 97.7 that would actually have moved it to a 10 it would have been close enough to be a 10 on centering so we got a 9.5 centering on this particular Jordan Alvarez card um, <clears throat> so from here we're going to move on to our surface mapping um, intelligent software the surface mapping is um, something that we have worked on for quite some time and we think that uh, it's something that um, really is uh, uh, groundbreaking for us um, when it comes to grading cards. So this card in particular, um, 
we looked it over really well before um, actually looking at the uh, scans um, to see what the uh, what the card looked like just with human interaction and human light or human uh, magnification. Um, and then, of course, we didn't uh, look at the score until we actually looked it over by um, our technicians and our graders. And um, so I want to take you through that process now of what the uh, um, surface mapping, surface imaging um, looks like. So this is our surface imaging software. Now, again, our surface imaging software is an automated software, so we don't have to look at every card unless we see something that, you know, doesn't really jive with what we're looking at or what we think the um, outcome should be. So as we start to look at this card, the system looks at the card from top left to bottom right um, as it scans through the process. So I want to do the same thing. The first thing I want to do is I want to take a look at the top left hand corner of this card. We start to look at the uh, edges and corners as well as um, the overall um, view of the card. Now, I want to point out with the surface imaging, what the surface imaging does is it can detect the difference between the printed material and the um, paper material that it is printed on. So, <clears throat> so if I lay this out and kind of explain it to you, as we start to look at this, uh, this image and we start to scroll along, this is the edge of the card right here. Um, this is actually a background that we use so that we can transparently see the difference between this. This background does not have any print dots on it. Um, the card would have print dots everywhere um, that there is printing on the card. So if you look, each one of these uh, small dots is a print dot. What the system goes through and looks for are irregularities in print dots, print dots that are pulled into uh, the print dot next to it or a set of print dots next to it, or a mar in the surface that runs through a print dot that would degradate that line or break that circle of the print dot. So um, as we start to look at this card, we start to get a, an understanding or a good, good idea of the image and the surface um, of this card and if it has any defects, flaws um, after the printing process took place from the card manufacturer. So, we're going to go down through here and look, and as you can see, um, there are some degradations in the cardboard here, um, but there are not too many degradations within the print fractals, okay? So to give you an idea of what we're talking about, I'm going to go down and just kind of scan through here, see what we can see with the naked eye, and see if we can come up with any reason that this card might not um, um, be perfect or have some... Um, degradation to it so as we start to scan down through here this card is beautiful um, edges are good corners look really good um, the overall printing on the card um, is really really nice i don't see any different differentiating um, within the uh, pixels itself i'm gonna blow it up to 400 percent one more um, makes it a little bit easier on the eye and makes it a little bit easier to see so um <clears throat> This card is a beautiful card just by looking at it right now. I will point out um, just a couple of things. Um, I'm looking here, just try to find anything that might give this card um, some degradation or um, a lack of overall quality, okay? So one thing I would point out is most cards are handled um, side to side. Um, when they're handled side to side, usually the card is held somewhere in this area with a finger or with a thumb. So that's usually where we can start to um, look for any degradation um, within the card. That's a, that's a very high volume area for the card to be touched. Um, this card looks super good, super clear, super crystal, um, just, just tremendous on the... Uh, quality <clears throat> this card came back uh, a 94.23 um, on surface quality 94.23 which give it a 9.5 on surface um, now i'm going down through here and kind of studying this card just by human eye um, and just trying to look at any any place that there could have been um, some sort of degradation or some sort of marring uh, surface lines, surface scratches, just anything that kind of would have stood out 
to us. Um, and I'm not really seeing anything here that would lead me to, uh, to differentiate between what the computer came up with as well as what uh, uh, we would see with, with, the, uh, with the human eye. So um, again, there are some, there are a few uh, uh, little bitty things like right here um, is just a little bit of a mar or a scratch line right here. Um, you see how those print dots do not flow evenly and they are kind of degraded. Um, there's a little, I mean, this is a minor, 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 minor um, detail here. Um, I'm just looking to uh, see what else we can find that it might have picked up on. Um, as I start to look over here on the edges, the edges look very good. Um, there's a little bit of uh, pitting and degradation here, but that's probably in the cardboard, or I know it's in the cardboard down below. Here's one area of, of uh, um, degradation. As you can see, there's a fingerprint right here. Um, there's a fingerprint uh, on the card right there. Our computer system would have picked that up. Um, we could have probably we could probably go through to wipe that down. Now I'm going to tell you um, we don't we don't get into wiping cards down or cleaning cards because um, there's always a factor of degradation or damage to the card if we were to do that. So um, we're always gloved. Um, we're always uh, being very careful with the card. We're always using minimal touch on the card as well. Um, <clears throat> One other thing I did notice on this card is there just a little bit of delamination here on the edge from the, uh, and what I call delamination, this is from the printing process for the uh, coating that they put on the card once it is, uh, once it's made. So again, we'll look at that on the edges and the corners here just briefly, just shortly. Um, but this card did get a 94.23 uh, um, score and uh, that would make a 9.5 9 uh, surface score. Um, so beautiful card, great, uh, great uh, surface on this card. Very, very minimal um, deduction here. <clears throat> so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the corners and the edges. Um, corners and the edges, this process is just a little bit different than our surface mapping uh, software. This uh, goes through a rendering process that um, uses the refractive light to uh, give us uh, shadows and, um, and uh, highlights to uh, give us a very good look and outcome on square modules and square, square edges and corners. Um, it gives us a very good uh, um, reflection and uh, gives us very good background to uh, be able to measure and simulate those corners. Now, our corner simulation um, goes through a complete simulation process of uh, several thousand corners um, that we have actually taken out of slabbed cards from other grading companies and put into our system, kind of like a fingerprint, uh, a fingerprint system that you would use in the, uh, in the uh, investigation, investigative world um, to uh, figure out if a fingerprint matches or not. We also use that type of software and intelligence system to uh, do it with corners as well. So if we have a corner that is deg degradated, um, a little bit, maybe a nine, five, maybe a nine, all the way down to a one. Um, we have a set of corners within our system, our intelligence software system that will match it up with other corners from other cards that have been graded by other um, grading companies over the last several years. We, we actually, um, the uh, co-founders and the owners of the company actually have uh, had, have, a, have several million cards in the collection. So they took those cards, they uncased um, many, many, many of those cards and um, set out to make a database system based upon those cards that were already graded um, to uh, put into our intelligence software to give us a reading um, automatically on corners and edges. So these corners are very beautiful on this card. Um, <clears throat> they look really nice. The edges are really good. We can see a little bit of degradation right here on this edge, but that's actually going to be on the surface. So that was probably another one that they picked up on the surface that I didn't pick up earlier looking at it with human eye. But this corner is really nice. Every card is going to have these fuzz hanging off of them. I don't care how good the card is. Every card is going to have some fuzz hanging off of them, some little bitty pieces of uh, cardboard or paper 
Um, this quarter corner is just beautiful, 90 degree, um, no degradation there. As we start to scroll down this edge over here, um, as you see, we got a few little bitty uh, outlying hangers there um, for um, the edge, but uh, overall, this uh, this corner is beautiful as well. Um, as we start to scroll along the bottom, here's where we start to see a little bit of degradation or a little bit of delaminating um, in the uh, in the uh, paper itself or the film that goes on the paper itself. And <clears throat> if you'll notice, this edge goes down into this corner right here. We have just a little bit of delaminating goes over into this corner and also right up through here. So um, overall, um, this card looks very nice. This card is just about as close to as uh, Jim as you can get other than maybe just a little bit of delamination there on the bottom. This card did come back <clears throat> on the edges. It did come back a 93.6 and on the corners, it came back a 96.9. So almost a 97 um, on the corner. So this also got a 95 on the edges and a nine five on the corners. So this card got nine fives all the way around. Uh, beautiful, beautiful card. Um, one that is really, really worthy of being slabbed. Um, it's a Jordan Alvarez rookie card of the 85 uh, retro or redo. Um, and it's in the, um, in the Chrome, um, uh, Chrome card as well. So again, very beautiful card. If you'll notice right here, um, we've got a little bit of, uh, of a spot here that's in the actual cardboard underlying the uh, chrome and the film. So um, <clears throat> those print dots look just fine on that. So last thing I want to do is I want to give you a color simulation, <clears throat> a color simulation process um, that we can also detect if a card has been uh, decolored or um, has had any um, coloring done to it after the fact. <laughs> So here's what it looks like when we bring up the uh, coloring uh, software, smart, smart software, intelligent software. This would be able to show if somebody tried to doctor an image, erase an image, uh, reprint an image, um, anything like that. So just to give you a really good idea here um, of the uh, color indication on this on this card. Um, this card is just beautiful. If you start to look. Um, anywhere that there would be some color that they would try to touch or, or to match up, um, you would start to see again the, the uh, drag of a line. Um, if you see these dots and you start to see them drag or them start to blur or to filter um, filter out, then um, we'd start to look for that card to be either doctored or um, somebody tried to um, do something to that card to uh, either fix either either fix it or to disguise it or to um, try to make it look uh, look like it um, had some work done to it. So again, this card does not show any any what any way, shape, or form that uh, any of that has been done. Um, this card is just a beautiful, beautiful card. And uh, again, this card is. Uh, um, just top notch. So with that said, <clears throat> Jason's got the cards back at his office now. Um, and I think he'll probably go over the cards with you. He'll give you an uh, idea of what the cards look like. He'll show you what the, uh, the uh, slabs look like, what the labels look like, what the cards look like after we graded them. And he'll go over the scores with you there. And I uh, hope you like this video. I hope it was very informative. hope it helped you guys out and lets you guys uh, get a little bit of an inside glimpse into what we do at Jim Mint Grading, how we use the uh, intelligent software for our grading system. And um, we hope you guys uh, give us a look at our website, www.jimmintgrading.com. Again, my name is Eric. I'm a co-founder and one of the owners. Um, and I appreciate your time today. And I'll uh, talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot. All right, welcome back, everybody. So have, hopefully that video was, you know, very thorough for you guys. And if you have questions, leave them in the video because he'll come through and answer them. Uh, he, he's he been active on a lot of my videos for a while before he even asked me to even think about doing this. So what it was was uh, I sent in four cards of my own. They graded them for free. In return, I'm going to use them as a giveaway, guys. So you're going to have a chance in this video towards the end. I'll tell you how. 
to um, get one of two cards, and I'll explain that whole thing at the end. And then also, I have five certificates here that I will be giving away. Um, and it's good for one free 30-day turnaround grading card with them with a custom label. So the winner of the first two cards will get two each, and then the next uh, giveaways will each give two, and I'll have one left over to use for somebody out there as well, too. But um, really, really nice of them. Nobody's offered that, trust me, with all the people that contact me about doing videos and stuff, which I think is great because it's, it's not about me getting this stuff. It's about you guys who are watching the videos being able to get something on your end onto it. So... Be on the lookout because we're talking some other things on to maybe down the road. I'll get a couple more cards graded and use them as giveaways too. So I'm sure you guys want to see right now what the grade cards look like. All right, let me pull this onto the side. All right. This is what it looks like right here. This is the J.K. Dobbins Select, which I do have some errors on to it. Um, as you can see, field level, silver, gem mint nine. There's the grades and everything. Overall, just like a PSA case, my only recommendation uh, onto this is I do like it where Beckett sleeves inside here so the card's not raw. If there's a way where you guys can do that, I, I'm a fan. And the other thing which we talked about is actually etching how like PSA has their stuff onto here, having their stuff somewhere here or up here or wherever it may be on the back. To where that if somebody can't just crack this and put it into a slab similar to it with this and this onto it, and you start having the forgery process. But the good part is, guys, I think he hit it in the video, and I can't remember. I just watched it this morning. Oh, boy. But um, with this, once they scan this card in, they know all the blemishes onto it, and it's logged in the system. So if another one comes in and match it, it would flag in the system. That's outstanding. That's something we need nowadays with people trimming cards and everything else. So let me get back. I'll show you guys the top of this again. So you got your cert number, the four subgrades. You know, I know people are gonna say, oh, it's just like HGA's uh, computerized new labels. Yeah, everybody's doing this stuff now like that. And I like it. I do. Here's the back. Check this out. Stream card breaks. You guys will have can have your name or your channel, whatever you want up here. This shows who originally graded the card. If you guys know me, I've been preaching about this for, I don't know, what, three years now? I think this is good. And I, I know he's trying to work on a way, too, to where it gets tracked down the line, too. If this card gets sold or something happens, they know who the original person is onto it. You know, that's great. They got their logo, the cert number here, their stuff, QR code. It's really, really good. Um, link will be in the description of their website and everything if you guys want to check them out. You can submit them in, and before I go any further, I'm just going to hit this because I'll forget. Where's that here? Prices, which I think are very, very good. 10-day turnaround, 35 bucks a card. 30-day turnaround, 20 bucks a card. 75-day turnaround, $15 per card. If you just want your card slabbed with no grades, they'll do it for 6 bucks. So for PC people that just don't care about what grading company does it and stuff, this ain't a bad option at all. It really isn't. All right, let me go back to what I was looking at here now. All right, so that's the Dobbins. Like I said, I kind of had a feeling of it all. But as we all know, Select had many issues this year with uh, just not the corners, but also Surface was real big onto it and the edges. As you guys seen all the fuzz there's on the sides here, that's why you always see the cloth trying to wipe the sides down. Um, just trying to pull that extra, like, little cardboard lint off of it. And pretty interesting to see. Up next, Charles Barkley. This is the Prism Orange, and they call it the Cracked Ice onto it. Just the orange ice. But, 9.5. 9.5 corners, 9.5 surface, 9 edges, 10 centering. Really sharp looking. I like it. This is where I would have figured it would have ended up at. would have been probably either a 9 or a 10 with Beckett. My guess, or Beckett with PSA, probably would have been closer to the 10 route onto it. Uh, very happy overall again with the back onto it and stuff. And while we're talking, I'll, I'll go over to it at the end. Let me, I'll, let me keep going here because I'll start losing focus. I got a few things I want to talk on with this. 
check this out. Giannis, this is one of the custom ones that they did. I let him use whatever they wanted to do for this stuff. Clouds in the air because of the mighty. And as you guys can see, 9, 5, 10, 9, 10. Really good looking car to Giannis. Super, whoop, there we go. Superstar out there. And these do come shipped back with the sleeves on to them. I just took them out just so there's not that double glare that we always have on there. Really liking it. Uh, real nice card. I know a lot of people are going to ask about resale value and stuff like that. There's really not a whole lot in the market to where you could research it right now. So it's it's going to be one of those things where I couldn't answer that question. And people always ask all these new companies coming out. What what are you using? Well, I look at a lot of different things, and I try to think, is this company going to be around in five or ten years? Because a lot of companies get busted. I mean, they just go out of business very quickly on the stuff. I, th I think these guys are going to be around for a while. And one of the reasons why, plus just talking to them, it was a lot different than talking with some of the other people I have on the phone about stuff. And I just really, really did enjoy... Um, being able to have some in-depth stuff. And I asked, can I get the video? This is the car that he did right here, guys. With my microscope, if you guys remember the surface, right around here he found that line. I couldn't see it. And I think that's outstanding that they're able to see stuff like that that I cannot. The other part, if you guys noticed, and this is where I want to talk about, you know where he said he saw like little faint finger tip, uh, a print like where it was touched here against the color and had chrome onto it? So we had a talk. And I was just curious, since they were talking about telling if the card's been altered by color and that, I said, okay, I got a question. We all know there's people out there that use a cleaning method onto their cards. Yes, I did do the air quotes like that. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't, don't get caught doing it. Or better yet, don't even do it because you're going to get caught and get busted. Some people go out there and they buy a substance to put on here that uh, basically will take out scratches onto the card, okay? It basically is a buffer. PSA, that's a big, huge red flag. Beckett, it's a big, huge red flag. You get hit with that stuff, your counts are banned. Banned, banned, banned. That's why I said I just use my breath, do a little, and do a wipe down the microfiber, just take off the fingerprints, and sometimes you have that chrome dust that I call on there and stuff, it wipes right off, you know. That there is fine doing it, but the people that are using the other stuff, they're going to get busted with this computer stuff because he said... Say this had those lines into it, like um, you guys remember what Top sent back to me where I was showing you. So if I'd used something and polished it up and it brought it out, he could tell off of that. That's an altered card then. That's an altered card. And you're going to still get gigged for those lines in because he's still going to be able to see it. Still be able to see those lines. And that was something that we had a lot to talk about just today because it just something that dawned on me when he was talking about what was it the color and the way like what people touch and how stuff fades and all that stuff. So really, really interesting. Again, I, I'm probably going to send some more stuff into him. And mostly it's either going to be, you know, some stuff that I just want for myself, for my own collection, just to be slabbed and stuff. Overall experience onto it, I'm pretty happy overall. And it's not just because, yeah, they graded these for free and sent them back and stuff like that. But the customer service, the professionalism with him and everything during it all, and he did not at one time frame mention any other grading company when we talked. It was all about his grading company or their grading company. He was the one talking to me, of course, um, which, you know, I like because we're not going to sit there and try to compare apples to oranges and stuff. And I, I don't one of the people I don't like here in PSA downgrade SGC Beckett and everything else. Be your own company, and that's what he did on the phone with me. So there, there was a lot of aspects why I chose to uh, go along with this um, and to do a video to show you guys this stuff here. My overall experience, very happy. Like I said, the only thing that I would say is if there's a possible way to sleeve these and put them in here, that would be one. And two, we already talked about him uh, adding some type of etch, whether it's you know up here in the back or you know, down here, like where PSA does it and stuff like that there. But, all right, let me know what you guys think. Now, here's how you're going to enter. I'm going to just take the top two cards here. So, top two cards are going to be as a giveaway. So, top person will get Barkley, bottom, or the second person will get Dobbins, all right? 
what I want in the comments is one thing you like about these slabs and one thing you don't like about the slabs. And that's how your comment's going to count for the giveaway. Because I'd like to get him some feedback out there. He didn't ask for it. But it, it always helps with new businesses and stuff like that to get a feedback of something good and something bad. Um, one thing you like about it, one thing you don't like about it. I'll give you guys till Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is whatever day it is, like the the 14th. I gotta get my phone. I don't even know here. Ugh. Uh, back page here. May 14th, Friday. You guys have the 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to come up with something good, good critique. You know, something that they could use to help benefit. And one thing you didn't like about it. I mean, if you didn't like anything or you don't like, or you you think you don't like, let me think how I can say this again. If there's nothing you don't like, you could put that. If there's nothing that you like and you just have a bunch of, you know, critiques on to it that are, you know, you need to fix this, this, and this, you could put that too. Just put that. I really don't have anything positive, um, but I do have a few things that, you know, would make this better. I'll accept that too in the giveaway. So what I'll do is if Friday at 5 p.m. I'll cut off the comment thing with I'll put that little slash thing saying giveaways over onto it. Top person will get this, second person will get this, and you'll each also get one free graded card. Uh, was it one? Let me read here. Good for one free 30-day graded card. So you get this, you can submit one card to them with the coupon, you'll get it for free, guys. Free, 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 free. So Pretty cool of him to do that. I didn't ask for the free graded card or the free certificates or anything like that at all. Something they just did uh, for the channel and everything like that. Guys, if you know people, share the video. Add them to the channel as always. Um, this is the first. I, I have not seen any videos out there of anybody showing this intelligence stuff at all. And he actually did it for us. And I mean, I was in shock when he agreed to it. I'm not going to lie. Because it's like this secret identity. It's almost like Area 51 out there. Well, you could talk about it, but you'll never see anything, you know. Um, he actually went through and showed it. And I really, I learned a lot of stuff about it from him, even just talking on the phone, then seeing it, and answered some questions afterwards. So, again, um, Gem Mint Grading Company. Link is in the description. And then I'll have the rules, again, for the contest in the description. I, I, I'm probably going to send some stuff off to him to get graded offhand. I don't know what. And I don't know when, but I will have, I shouldn't say probably, I will be having some stuff I'm going to send off to them. Because right now, as you guys know, PSA, everybody's backed up and everything like that. Prices are just crazily stupid for grading. And these look nice. And I mean, I'm not here to downgrade HGA with a lethal lottery and only submitting five cards per week. But this here is, it's nice. It's a nice case. I enjoy it. I overall enjoy the labeling on to it. And you guys got to see different types of labels and stuff. And Oh, if you want something custom, once you submit your order, just email them, and then they'll work with you on a custom label graphic thingy onto it. Again, I, I like having the owner's name on the back. I think that's great. That, that's awesome. I mean, whatever you want to call your business, yourself, that, that's just so cool. I mean, just know where that card originated at. So, again, guys, good luck on the giveaway. Um, and like I said, starts now, whenever this video is pushed out, which will be Wednesday. Um, it'll end Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Top person gets Barkley, second person gets the Dobbins, and then you each get a certificate to get a free card graded. And then I'll give these other two away, too, in another video down the road here, because I want to make sure I try to get a couple different things out onto it. Again, everybody, I appreciate your patience in watching this video. I know it was longer. I, I really wanted to try to uh, be able to show people what this intelligence is like. And we have it. It's going to be out there. You guys can be your own judge if you want to use it and stuff like that there. Um, again, thanks to Gem Mint Grading Company for grading the cards, sending them back quickly, pushing me like ahead of the line to do it all so we could get a video out with what I wanted to do with the video. And then uh, for also, thank you for the certificates for five people. That is awesome of you. Um, expect some orders from me. Now, I do have to email you because I have a couple questions about being able to mail in for other people that, like, get stuff on out of boxes that want to have a grade. If I can mail it in and stuff, I'll, I'll send you an email. 
I'm just blabbing on here as normal. Other than that, everybody take care. Have a good week. Good luck on the giveaway, and I'll see you all later.